Hey everybody, welcome to the big 9-9, day number 99 of the at-home fitness training series with this guy, Coach A, and we have one more day until the century mark, which is going to be something a little special, a workout you guys have done before, it's going to be a big one for us, so uh, today we are aimed at getting some work in, but avoiding the movements that we're looking for tomorrow, today is going to be most upper body and core focused. Let me explain. I'm going to demonstrate right here so you guys can see, uh, give you some options for modifications. There's not going to be a ton for modifying down, but if you want to scale up, there's some stuff we can do as well. So uh, every minute and a half, you are going to switch, alternate between two different complex or two, two different combinations, excuse me. So the first minute and a half on the minute and a half on go you have to finish 15 to 20 push-ups and 15 to 20 sit-ups. 15 to 20 is meant so that you can specify a range that is best suited for you. I myself would do 20. If you have a hard time completing 15 push-ups, uh, especially 15 push-ups in a row, then that's probably more your suit. Now, the push-ups and the sit-ups don't need to be the same rep scheme, and you can even modify it as you go. So if you want to start with 20 and 20 and you end up with 15 and 18, that's fine. You should have a little bit of rest before you move on to the next minute and a half, though. So if we're really button up against that minute and a half for 20 and 20, let's bring that down a little bit starting on the second round. All right. So at go, 15 to 20 push-ups and 15 to 20 sit-ups back to back. Get a little bit of rest going into that second minute and a half, which is going to be 30 to 40 shoulder taps. And so we're counting every tap and 30 to 40 Russian twist. I have the medicine ball back here that I'm gonna use. You guys can use whatever. Um, that just happens to be 14, 20 and 14 pounds for guys and girls would probably be the uh, prescribed weight. Um, so again, there's a range and that range you should use to fit you. Now, if you need to scale that range down, that's fine. For both of those minute and a half, essentially scale them down. Uh, let's try and keep them as close to the same number as normal when it comes to the, the upper body versus the core stuff. Uh, but if we have a much, much harder time with the push-ups, let's say, than we do with the sit-ups, there's it's fine if there is a difference in that number. Now, so that I'm going to go through and demonstrate. Like I said, that first minute and a half is going to be push-ups and sit-ups. So let's say I'm going through and I'm hitting my 15 push-ups. I roll right over, set the feet. Tap, come all the way up into my sit-ups. Once I finish, I'm resting to that next minute. On that next minute, I'm starting with the shoulder taps. As soon as I finish those, I grab my weight and I start my Russian twist. Okay. Um, scale down, like I said, we're maybe dropping to the knees on the push-ups, uh, putting something underneath our abdomen so that we're shortening range of motion on the push-ups, sit-ups. There's not that much you can do to make them easier, maybe other than adjusting the position of the legs and the feet. When it comes to the second piece, the twist, we can take the weight away. Uh, we can add more weight. Um, same thing for the push-ups. If you guys want to work on extra range of motion, you can prop the hands up. We can do a hand release push-up. You can add weight to the body. Uh, for the sit-ups, we can make it a weighted sit-up. You can hold the ball on the sit-ups. For the shoulder taps, if you guys want to make the shoulder taps more challenging, and you are capable of doing these, you can always take yourself upside down and do the handstand shoulder taps. Um, if that's what you're gonna do, I would probably drop those reps though, because 30 to 40 of the handstand shoulder taps is going to take a while, and it is probably going to make you pretty dizzy going into the Russian twist, which is not gonna be a good combination. So probably uh, somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 on the handstand shoulder taps is about all you need. We're gonna do this for 10 total rounds of a minute and a half to a minute and a half to a minute and a half. That's gonna be five rounds each piece. Tune in tomorrow for day number one, zero, zero.